four, three, two, one. All right, back here live sectional number 61 here in class 1A here at uh, West Washington High School is our first round game finished with Morton Braves advancing 40 to 37 over West Washington. They'll play on Friday night uh, as they'll play the South Central uh, Rebels in that first game on Friday night. Our second game here tonight uh, features uh, the Rock Creek Academy taking on Christian Academy. So these two schools pretty familiar with each yeah, other, yep. not very far away. No. Three or four miles uh, <laughs> separates them down there in the Clarksville, Sellersburg area. So, you know, everything, they're pretty familiar with each other. We've also seen both these teams uh, play this year. And, uh, you know, I tell you, I was really impressed uh, with the Christian Academy's team when we played them yeah, uh, Joshua, when West Washington played. Joshua Renfro, the 6'2 sophomore, averaging 21.3 yeah. a game, you know, Four rebounds, 82% from the free throw line. What more could you ask for out of your out of your your stud sophomore? Absolutely, and they you know they come into the game 16 and six uh, on their uh, season record. Rock Creek coming in seven and 14. We seen Rock Creek here at West Washington. Yeah, just just a week ago. Just a week ago, as uh, they took on the Senators. Senators getting that win over Rock Creek. But I tell you, Rock Creek's got a lot of pieces to the puzzle. Oh, yeah. You know, if they get going, if they get uh, their big going in in uh, Dipper, number 14, and uh, also I like uh, Treat. I think Treat is a, a really good player down in the post. Uh, and they've got some kids on, from the outside that can fill it up too. Uh, Ladarius Wallace, I thought, is, is a real solid player. Uh, and like I said, Jalen Treat, 6'7 uh, for them. So, you know, they, they go seven foot, six, seven in the post, and those kids could be a handful. And if they can slow the game down, they don't want to run with Christian Academy because Christian Academy yeah. can go. Yeah. But Rock Creek likes to run too. Right. So, so I see this, this one may being be an up and down. down up and different down. Different from that first right. one. <laughs> you they may, may have to help me. I'll get lost. They in may the have. Here. They may have 40 points by <laughs> half. Yeah, very well <laughs> could. They very well could. But both teams. Uh, you know, like to get up and down, like we said, but I think I think Rock Creek's uh, chances are better if they slow it down, yeah, a little bit and play the half court set. We'll see what they elect to do as coach uh, Chris Brown for Rock Creek Academy. Hayden Casey, the uh, head coach at Christian Academy, like we said, Christian Academy 16 and six, Rock Creek seven and 14 on the season. As we get ready for this uh, first round. Uh, contest here between these two teams for a chance to advance to the semifinals on Friday night as they'll take on the winner. This one will take on Lanesville, Lanesville as they drew the bye uh, and Lanesville coming in. Off to, a win. Uh, they're, off they're, a win. They got one win. That's one in right. 17, but off a win. So uh, we're getting ready for our second round game here. First things first is Coach uh, or Coach Al. I guess he was yeah. a coach at one time, Coach Combs. Um, Claude Combs, the PA announcer here, will introduce the uh, players from both teams here. Uh, as they'll uh, introduce all of them, then we'll have our starting lineup. The Rock Creek Academy Lions here. As they'll run them all down here. Number uh, 42, Jonathan Elliott. 22, Kalen Brown. 44, uh, Hayden, or no, I'm getting the wrong ones, I think. I'm getting them confused. Number 10, Jackson, and 44, Midkins. Now the starting lineup for the Rock Creek Lions. Number two, Ladarius Wallace, we talked about him. He's a speecher, gets up and down 5'8", the senior. At another guard. Number four, K1 Biko. He's also a senior, 6'2. We'll start at one guard. Number uh, 12, Taylor, will also get to start. Gavon Taylor, the sophomore. And Jalen Treat, the senior, 6'7. He'll wear number 40 for the Lions. And at center, a seven foot uh, senior. Number 14, Mario Dipper, the uh, seven-footer for uh, Coach Chris Brown's Rock Creek Lions here in this game tonight. 
And now your non-starters for Christian Academy. I tell you, it's loud in here. Yeah, oh yeah. And you've got on noise canceling headphones, so. <laughs> And I can't see now they've turned the lights out. But number 14, Clint Smith. Number 23, Xander Pennick for Christian Academy, the non-starters. Number 10, Elijah Logston. Number 30, Trey Babs. Number 20, Lucas Gillespie. Number 44, Dylan Goodman. And now the starting lineup for Christian Academy Warriors. Number five, Matthew Carter. He's a six-foot junior for Christian Academy. Number one, Joshua Renfro. He is a sophomore at 6'1". Number 32, Doss. We talked about Nathan Doss, the junior at 6'2". Number 11, Cook will get the start as well as he's a sophomore. And uh, number zero at center, we'll start for them, Caleb Roy, uh, the senior at 6'4". They definitely for, uh, go as, as their yeah. uh, three, it's a three-headed monster, Joshua Renfro, Caleb Roy, and David Cook all averaging in double digits, so. Yep, so that's how we'll start it here tonight. Roy will jump it up for Christian Academy against uh, number four, uh, Biko will jump for the uh, Lions here of Rock Creek Academy. So we're ready to get this underway. Ball will go in the air and it's controlled by Christian Academy. They'll tip it into the backcourt. 32 Doss will bring it across for them. He'll hand it off. Number one Renfro on the far side goes baseline. Doss will drive. Kicks it off there to five Carter. Now back out. They'll drive it inside the lane, put up a wild shot, and kind of blocked there, but uh, pulled down there by Roy as they'll dish it back out to Carter. Carter dishes it back out to number 11, Cook. Now Cook will drive back out and reset as he'll take it all the way inside. Got the ball tipped away, but he got it back. Spins on the baseline, puts up a shot, no good. And it tipped out of bounds off of Carter. It'll go to Rock Creek. So Rock Creek will inbound. Treat, you, you uh, can just tell that they oh, yeah. move a lot faster. Oh, yeah. Treat will get it into Wallace. Wallace will kick it back to Taylor. Now back over to Wallace. He's kind of their uh, floor leader, floor general for them. Wallace kicks it off. It'll come off there to Taylor. Now they go baseline. Bako with it. He'll go up, and they're going to get a foul call. That's going to go against Roy. That'll be his first personal. Teams first, and they'll say say he was in the act of shooting. Mako was so. in the act of shooting, so he'll go to the line. So Biko will step up there for a couple free throws. First one up, long off the back of the rim, no good. He'll get another one, however, so he'll step back to the line. And this was something they struggled with yeah, when they, we played them. Their free throw, the free throw shooting throw was not good. Miko's second one's up, but he got that one to go. So it's one to nothing here as we're just underway here in this second uh, game of the first round here tonight. Christian Academy back the other way as they'll bring it up. Number 11, Cook with it. He'll drive and tipped away and stolen by Biko. He'll bring it up. This is off to two Wallace. He'll go in strong. Got the bucket. So Wallace scores, three to nothing. Full court pressure here by the Lions. They'll get it into Roy. Roy will bring it up, dipper on him. And they'll drive it. Roy will kick it off. It goes over there to Cook. Now it goes back out to number one, Renfro. Now he'll hand it off there to 11, Cook. Now they'll drive it. They get away from him, kick it out. Three ball in the air there by number 11. That's Cook, and he hits a three-pointer to tie it up at three. Three all here, 6-14 to go in the first quarter. That's where the yep. Warriors can really hurt you. They can light it up from three real quick. They sure can. They'll get it back up Will Wallace for 
Rock Creek, and he'll kick it far side as it goes over there to Taylor. Taylor off to Treat, now inside to Dipper. He'll pull it down, 15-footer, can't get it to go. Treat battling for the board down there with Roy, and he pulls it up and a big melee down there as now Dipper dives in there on the ball as well. This one could get a little wild here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> these two teams are getting after each other, and you know all these kids know each other. Oh, yeah. So jump ball called. It'll go back to Rock Creek on the alternating possession here, so they'll get the possession as they'll inbound. Taylor to throw it in. He'll get it out high. It'll come in. Number two, Wallace shoots the three. Can't get it. Roy with the rebound for Christian Academy. As he'll hand it off there to Doss. Doss with it. Gets it across the timeline. Taylor picking him up. Now he'll kick it out there to Cook. Cook with it. And I tell you, Christian Academy kind of spreads the floor. Yeah. They, they got everybody in the, all corners and just going to go one-on-one. -on -one. They'll drive it and block by Dipper if they're going to call the foul as he went up high. And number 11, Cook, will go to the line. So Dipper picking up his first foul tonight. Well, and that's what they're going to do. They're going to spread it out. They're going to drive, and yeah. they're going to make Dipper and Treat foul. Yeah. Well, that's what they've done. They've, they've set it four corners. They're putting somebody in every corner. And the guy driving the ball is just going to take it to the basket and make yeah. those guys stop him. And, you know, not a, not a bad option. Cook uh, at the line here looking for his fourth point. First Cook, free throws up, and he got it. Cook is a 76% free throw shooter on the year. He's got four points already, the only scorer yeah. for the Warriors. So he'll get another one here. Second one coming. So he'll step back to the line. Second free throws up, and it's good. So he's got them both, and it's 5-2-3 now. Christian Academy with the early lead. Back the other way, Wallace gets it off to Taylor. Taylor with the basketball. He looks, gets inside the treat. Treat trying to find Dipper, tipped away, and they're going to call a holding foul. Yeah, they're going to get number five, yeah. Matt Carter, for his first. And I'm not so sure that was, wasn't a bad call. I thought it was a pretty good call by the official. Yeah. Looked like Carter kind of had a hold of Dipper, and he'll get the call. So two fouls. Second team foul on Christian Academy. Taylor to inbound once again as he looks to get, get it in. Actually, that's Wallace. He'll get it in to Biko. Back to Wallace in the corner. Back out to Biko inside the treat. Treat will go in strong, throws it up, got it to go. Nice bucket by Jalen Treat. I tell you what, I, I really like Jalen Treat. He, yeah. He's a big body, 6'7", and he's, he's a force inside. He Back. would be a center if they didn't have a 6'11", <laughs> 7-footer. Oh, yeah. six, six, yeah. yeah. Doss with it, now gets it off as they'll get it over there to Roy. Roy will kick it back out there to Renfro. Renfro back to Roy, he'll spin, tries to go baseline, he does, gets it to Carter, back out to Roy, now back out to Cook. Cook down to Carter, back out to Cook. Cook with it, dribbles back out high, and they'll set it again. Four corner action, they'll just uh, isolate Cook. He, he's gonna try to go one on one. Biko guarding him. 4.21 to go in this first quarter. It's tied at five. Looks like they're just going to be content here. Now they'll go on the attack. Carter set the screen. Cook will go around it. Drives baseline. Gets cut off. Dishes out to Roy. Goes over to 32 there. Up with the shot. Treat. Gets the rebound, Doss couldn't get it to go. Back quickly for the Rock Creek line. Biko with it, he'll hold it up here, looking down low, gets to Treat, now inside to Dipper. He'll spin, goes up strong, and rolls it in. So he got his first bucket of the night, and it's seven to five. That's where Dipper can really oh, hurt yeah. you. Doss with it to bring it up for the Warriors. He'll get it across the timeline. Taylor on him. They'll kick it back out. It'll go to Cook. Looks like they're trying to isolate Cook. They really want him to go to the basket. Renfro with it now. Gets it off to Roy. Roy looking. Back to Renfro. Cut off baseline. He'll dribble it out. Tries to get it to Roy and stolen by Treat. So another turnover there by Christian Academy. Gives them two turnovers yeah. so far. Rock Creek back the other way. They'll get it far side to Taylor. He'll kick it off to Biko. Biko with it, inside the treat. He looks, goes down low to Dipper. He'll spin, throws it up, and got it to roll in. I tell you, I like their approach. 
Yeah. You know, and that's they're going to use said. their two bigs yeah. and feed the post with one, and the other's going to be down there to take the bucket. And they're better in that half court set for sure. They'll drive the basket, throw up a wild shot there, and now a foul as 32 Doss took it to the hole, and he's going to get called for the personal. Yeah. His first team's fourth. Couple new players check in there for the Warriors, number 20 Gillespie into the game, and number 40 as well. Cooper DeLozzi. Back the other way, Miko with it. He'll kick it out. Wallace. Gonna be a travel. Gonna call him for a travel. He had the same trouble against yeah. the Senators earlier. He was called on that three or four different times. So the Warriors get it back. Losey then bound. He'll kick it in and it'll come in to Cook. Cook will bring it up across the timeline now. He picks up his dribble there. He'll hand it off to Roy. Roy trying to get it down to Renfro. He does. Renfro wheels around. Kicks it out to Gillespie. Gillespie far side. On the dribble. Now picks it up. Goes inside there to uh, Roy. Stolen from behind. Biko will take it in. He'll jump and he'll slam it on. And a big dunk there by Biko. She takes it in and he whirlwinds that thing down. That was an impressive dunk. Yeah, yeah. He got up and threw that one down. That's a... That's one, you know, impressive one to, to uh, get up and get out ahead of everybody and be able to get up like that. Yeah, so. he just uh, he, he had a wide open look at the basket and he just he took it in. We knew it was coming. Yeah. He could set it up and Rock Creek uh, fans excited about it here as they take a 11 to 5 lead here with 151 and to the, go in the first quarter. The Warriors haven't been able to get to their to no. their bell cow. They haven't been able to get to Renfro. He's only touched the ball about 3 times. You know, and every time he's touched it, it hasn't been he hasn't been able to get a look at the bucket. Well, I really like what Rock Creek's doing. You know, they're 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 slowing the game down, and they've done a good job on the defensive end. Christian Academy has tried to isolate and let Cook go one on one. He's got all their points with five, but um, you know, Rock Creek's done a good job coming over and picking him up, putting pressure on the ball, and not letting them get off some good shots. And I tell you. Christian Academy is a team that can really shoot the basketball. Oh, yeah. Um, we saw that when we played them down there at their place, and uh, they lit us up, uh, especially uh, Renfro really beat us that night on the three-point shot. I tell you, they're going after it already. Yeah. Renfro and uh, and Roy, or Taylor, have really – they still are down there. Yeah, those two are. Yeah, they're, they're threatening with uh, possibly getting thrown out of here. That's actually, I said it was Taylor. It's actually 22 Brown who checked in here. So they'll get it inbounds. It'll come in there to Lozy. Lozy will hand it back over there to Cook, and he'll bring it up. He'll go far side back to Lozy. He picks up his dribble, goes down to Roy at the free throw line. Dipper up high on him. Now they'll kick it back off to Losey. Losey back out to Roy. Far side, it'll go to Cook. Cook will control it out front. Brown all over Renfro. Yeah, he's just got no room to go. Cook will drive, tipped away and stolen by Biko, and now they foul him as Cook got the, uh, got the turnover there. And a foul on Cook. It's going to be four team fouls on Christian yep. Academy. Yeah, and uh, only one on uh, the Lions. Uh, Dipper has one for them. So Rock Creek uh, turns it back over on that uh, foul. So they'll give the ball back to them. Taylor will bring it up. He'll cross the timeline, gets it off to Brown here on the near wing, goes in the corner to Biko. Biko back out to Brown, far side to Taylor. Taylor down low to treat. He'll kick it up to Dipper. He'll go up strong and score it. So Dipper scores again. They are six of yep. seven when they get shots up on the board. Absolutely, so. 13 to five now, an eight point lead. 
Back the other way, Cook with it. I'll tell you, Rock Creek, I, I'm really impressed with the defense they've played yeah. to this point in the game. Losey off to Gillespie, and he throws it away. He'll go back to the Academy. That's the fourth turnover that I've got. Yeah, I've got four, too. That's a fourth, yep. So, Rock Creek will get it back here as uh, Wallace will come back into the game. He'll come in for Taylor. With 37 seconds to go here in this first quarter of play. They'll get it inbounds. Wallace will bring it up. Wallace will cross over the timeline. Trap coming here by Christian Academy. Now they'll get it off to Brown. Back to Wallace. Wallace over to Biko. Biko looking, nothing there. Gets it back out. Wallace, 18 seconds now. Looks like they're going to hold for the last shot here, 14. Wallace just content. Now he gets it off to Brown. Brown back to Wallace. Over to Biko. Biko looking. And three seconds. He'll shoot a deep three and can't get it. I think he lost track of yeah, time. I don't disagree with you. He was going down. So we'll take a break. Rock Creek 13, Christian Academy 5. We'll be back here on uh, West Washington. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Hi. Four, three, two. All right, back here live as we start the second quarter of action. Rock Creek Academy up 13 to five here at the end of the first quarter. As uh, they've only got five points, does Christian Academy, all from uh, Cook. So Christian Academy on inbound here to start this second quarter. As they get it in there to Dawes to also go down to Roy. Roy back out there to Cook. Cook with it, goes down to Roy, and they score it. So Roy gets his first buck of the night. And it's 13 to 7. That's a nice slide through. Two defenders come at him and he's able to split the middle. So Yeah. Yeah, he you know, he done that a lot against us, and I'm I'm surprised they haven't tried to go to Roy more, but it's been the defense of Rock Creek that's limited that from yeah. happening. Dipper with it, far side, kicks it back out to Brown. Brown over to Biko. He's got a wide open look at a three. Can't get it to go, though. Rebound pulled down by Roy. And he'll get it off to Renfro. Renfro up quickly with it. He'll drive, now kicks it out. So he'll get it off there to Doss. Doss with it. Trying to get it back to Renfro, and he does. I tell you, Brown just all over Renfro. He'll drive it now, dishes. Three ball up off the rim and treat with the rebound as uh, Roy had to throw that one up high over Dipper. Ball comes back out to Brown. He'll kick it to treat. Treat baseline, dishes, Dipper will spin, and he got the bucket. Nice athletic move there by Dipper with eight so far. Yeah, he's leading them so far, so they'll get it back to Renfro. Quickly back up with it, 15 to seven here, Rock Creek. He'll hand it off to Roy, now back to Renfro. Renfro driving, pulls it down, gets it down to Roy. He tries to go down low. Dipper there, and he blocks the shot, but he's going to get called for the foul. Yeah, that'll be his and second. Carter. So Dipper and Carter now. You know, we've seen Dipper get a technical here. Uh, now the official steps in. He says, nope, we're not going to do that, boys. So that's the second foul on uh, Dippers. He'll probably have to check out here. Yeah. 
I guess they're going to. Nope, they got a guy over here ready to check in for him. So Carter will go to the line. Him and Dipper, a little extracurricular activity yeah. there after the uh, foul was called, but uh, officials on top of it. They got to calm down, and Carter will go up there to the line. Misses the first one. Yeah, it goes down and then pops right back out. So Carter couldn't get it to go in. So Taylor will come in for Rock Creek. Taylor at 5'3", replacing 7-foot yeah. <laughs> Dipper. That's, that's quite a size difference. But Carter's second free throw. He missed them both. Rebound by Treat. Treat back up, gets it to Miko. Now hands it off to Wallace. Wallace will set it up for Rock Creek off to Taylor. Taylor far side as he'll kick it over there to Brown. Brown will back it out here. And looks like Rock Creek might be content to just take the air out, but they'll kick it off now. It'll come over here, Taylor. Taylor back over to Wallace, or actually Brown, sorry. Brown now on the attack. He tries to skip it. He does. Gets it over to Taylor. Deep three up. No good. And Roy pulls down another board for the uh, Lions. Warriors. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Warriors. Warriors. Got I get them mixed yeah. up. That's what I, I was, was looking doing. and I was like, what? Oh. <laughs> Roy with it. Looking. <laughs> hands it off to Renfro. He'll pull it down. Shoot it from the elbow. Can't get it to go. Rebound Biko back the other way for Rock Creek. And he's athletic. He'll drive it and score it. So he takes it in. He's got his fifth point of the fifth night. Point of the night. Seventeen to seven, a three-point or ten-point lead. Shot up deep three-pointer, and it's uh, Carter who gets a rebound back up. Can't get it to go. Tip back out to Biko by Treat, and Rock Creek with a ten-point lead here. I tell you, Christian yeah, Academy just can't buy one. Nope, just can't get one to go at all. Nope. And then they, they come down and they sit kind of in this zone and don't really pressure, and right. Rock Creek can hold the ball and take the air out of it. When you're up 10, you can do that. I tell you, I really like, and I've said this three or four times, but I really like what Coach Brown's doing. He's just taking his time. He's setting the, you know, running the nice sets. Biko drives the lane and scores again. And I tell you, that's too easy for Biko. Yeah, Biko didn't play against the Senators, no. so. 19-7. As Doss uh, bringing it up for Christian Academy. Still hand it off. It'll go to Cook. Cook now clearing out again. Still go one on one. Biko on him. They go back door and get an easy bucket and a foul as Brown got him from behind. That's Renfro's first point. Yeah, he just kind of broke away, and that was a set play. Nice call there yeah. by uh, Christian Academy coach Casey as he set that one up. He was going back door the whole time. There was there was no doubt on that. That foul on Brown, his first, team's third. So Renfro will go to the line, a chance to complete the three-point play here and cut into this 10-point lead, 19 to nine. 406 to go in the first half. Free throws up and it's good. So he's got his third third, third point of the night. Third point. 19 to 10. Back the other way, they'll bring it up. Wallace across the timeline, hands it off to Brown, now to Taylor. Back to Wallace. Wallace will hand it off far side to Brown. Brown off to Taylor. Taylor now drives, kicks to Brown. He thought about driving, yeah, thought but, about he going, but pulled it back out. Gets a far side over there to uh, Taylor. Now back to Wallace, now to Brown. Brown, back out high, it'll come to Taylor. Back to Brown, looks at Treat, can't get it down there to him. Now he'll drive in the lane, dishes it off, goes back to Wallace. Wallace will pull it out, cross court. He throws it up high over here to Taylor. Taylor down to Brown, now back to Taylor. Taylor kicks it in, free throw line. Now they'll dish it out. Pull up baseline jumper up, no good. And Nico goes 
over the back there as the rebound pulled down by Cook, and it's going to be the first foul yeah, on Biko. First foul on Biko. Team four. So it'll go back to the Warriors. They'll inbound it. They'll get it into Renfro. He'll bring it up. Brown on him. He'll drive, cuts baseline, dishes. They get it inside to Roy. He tries to score it, can't get it up. And Treat there, but he fouled him. As they're going to get to David Treat, I believe. Still his, only his yep. first. So, team's fifth. Caleb Roy going to go to the line where he's a 66% shooter on the year. Looking for his third point. Yep, he'll step up there, shoot a couple. First one's up, and it's that long. That no good. Yep. They're only 50% from the line in this game. They're three of six. Right. You know, in a game we haven't talked about that's going on up the, up the road in Bloomington. Yeah, yeah, you got uh, an update on that? Playing. I haven't yet, but I'll get one for you. Second free throw's up and good by Roy, so he got one of two. And it's 19 to 11 here, Rock Creek with an eight point lead. Number 10 into the game, Jackson for the Rock Creek Academy. As he'll kick it far side, back over there to Taylor, now to Jackson. Jackson looking. Far side, Taylor. Taylor off to Wallace now, Wallace. I tell you, it changes their look whenever Dipper's out of the yeah. game. They, yep. They, they try to go to treat, but they're basically double teaming him down there in the paint. Yeah, and they're, Christian Academy sitting in a 2 3 zone. Yeah. So. so Jackson with it now. He gets it off to Wallace. Now to treat. Now they find uh, Biko cutting the lane. He goes up strong. Partially blocked. And they get a foul on Biko on the rebound. That's his second. He fouls Cook. So Brown will come back in. I'm sure Biko going to come to the bench. As he'll come back in for Rock Creek. Two fouls on Biko. He'll go to the bench. Cook with it. Back the other way for the Warriors. He'll get it across. Drives all the way down to the baseline. Gets cut off. Kicks it out, Renfro shoots a deep three and got it. Knocks that one in. Cuts the lead to five. 19-14. <laughs> and that's what they, they like to shoot the three. That's the, the only the second one they've hit here tonight. Right. They've shot three, hit two of them. Right. Taylor with it for Rock Creek. He'll dribble, far side, kicks it to Brown. Brown. Back almost stolen there. It'll go back to Rock Creek. As tipped out of bounds by Logston. And a timeout called here with 1.11 to go by Rock Creek. Is that a full timeout? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Here. Yep, 1.11 left to go. Rock Creek up five. Have been up by as by much ten as I had them up at 12. 12, at yeah, they did point. have it so 12. You're right. Uh, Christian Academy has been cutting into it ever since. Uh, got it down to five now, but you know it's <laughs> it's been a struggle for them to get get going. Um, you know they struggled when Dipper was on the floor with that big body in the middle. Now that he's out, it seems like they're struggling really to get their offense going in transition. Yeah, yeah, they have, and you know it just changes their whole look whenever Dipper's out. You know when they got Dipper and Treat in there. You know, you got two giants down there yeah. that you can drive the basketball in there and dish off, and they haven't been able to do that since Dipper got that uh, first foul or second foul there early in the uh, first uh, or first part of this quarter. So 111 to go. Rock Creek with the ball and a five-point lead. They'll kick it in. It'll come into Wallace. Wallace with it out high. He's picked up there by uh, Dawes. Wallace will kick it back over here to Taylor. Taylor. Track coming here as they bounce out on him, but he'll just keep it. He'll dribble, kicks it off. It'll go to Jackson. Jackson looking. He gets trapped over there. Now he throws a scary pass out to Brown. Brown will drive. This is in the corner. Taylor's three off the mark, and a foul going to be called on Treat. That's and that's his second. His second. 
They say Treat was pulling down. It looked like they kind of boxed Treat out and kind of pushed him down. I, I didn't see much contact, but the officials had a better look than we did. Yeah. He was right there behind it, but uh, they said Treat kind of pulled him down. It's going to be a one so, and yeah, one here. Yeah, they'll be shooting free throws now. Seventh uh, team foul on Rock Creek. So that will put Roy at the line. He's been up there twice. He hit one of two earlier. Yep, he's a 66% shooter on the year. The six foot four senior. Boy, I'm glad you've got those stats. <laughs> <laughs> that makes my job a lot easier because I don't have a clue about what they shot on the year, but that's good to have. He hits the first one. Cuts it down to a four-point lead, 19-15. I tell you, Christian Academy, you know, they've, they've, they've they haven't, eight into this yeah, lead. They haven't time. played a, a great half of basketball, but they've chipped away at this lead, mostly from the free throw line where they're six yeah. of nine for 66%. All right, so 19-16, a three-point game. Treat with it. He'll drive now. Nice spin move. Nice he goes spin up move. and a foul on the floor. He hit him on the arm. Oh, they're going to say he was shooting, so. He'll get two free throws. That's going to go Caleb against Roy. Roy. His, His second. second. Yeah. Yep. Team's fifth, so Treat will go to the line. A couple free throws coming. Yeah. Whole different team when Tree, or when Roy is is going to have to check out. They don't have size to come back in and really right. back that up. Treat at the line. His first free throw rims out. He can't get it to go. You know, and Christian Academy's outscored him here 11 to 6 in this quarter to cut it to a three-point uh, three lead by Rock Creek. Dipper going to check back in with his two personals last 36 seconds. Treats a second free throw up and good. So he gets one of two, 20 to 16 now, four-point lead. Dipper will come back in, four treat will go to the bench with two. Roy to inbound, full court pressure here by the Lions. Taylor. On uh, 32 Doss, he'll get it over to Renfro. Renfro draws the crowd over there. Now he'll hand it off to Roy, back to Renfro. He'll back up, goes baseline. Roy stumbled a little bit, but right there for the rebound, back up. No good, though, as it was shot up there by number 10, Logston, and he couldn't get it to go. Rock Creek back the other way, gets it to Jackson. He'll step back, shoot the three off the mark, and the rebound by Roy. Roy up quickly with three seconds, two seconds. He'll drive, shoots it, and a foul going to be called on the floor. Or no, they said he was shooting it. Yeah. As they called that on Brown. So Brown will pick up his second. And Roy will go to the line again. He's three of four up there tonight. And a chance to uh, eat into this four-point lead here with .5 seconds here to go in the first half. First free throws up and no good. He'll get another one. Since he'll step back up there to shoot the second. Second free throw up and it's good. He it's hits six. One two. And that's the end of the first half here. So we end it. 20 to 17, Rock Creek with a three point advantage here going into the half. We're going to take a long break and we'll be back here on your home for sectional number 61. Here it's Rock Creek 20. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Bob Lovell. This is our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. And, Paul, I'm glad you're feeling better. A uh, And his historic weekend for uh, IHSAA sports this past weekend, quite frankly. Girls finals in basketball took place at Gainbridge Fieldhouse. Best crowd since nine, excuse me, since 2009. Boys swimming championships. We had two national records. Uh, that's a pretty good weekend for anybody. 
I tell you what, Coach, it was a, a really good weekend. You know, the, the unfortunate thing, I got to witness it all from my couch <laughs> last <laughs> weekend. And, and certainly COVID still not anything to mess around with. But uh, we stayed home and watched IHSA TV and, and watched those different championships going on. And it was a phenomenal weekend. You know, I'm just uh, the the girls' tournament was five new teams, like, like you said, best attendance since right. 2009. Incredible games, great matchups. Uh, you know, and it, it just makes me so proud to be from Indiana. And you know, our folks still show up pilgrimage to Indianapolis and to support their teams. And we saw that. Uh, we also had an incredible crowd at the at the swim meet where those national records yeah. were being broken. Uh, yeah. So uh, phenomenal weekend. You know, I've done um, championship games on radio and TV for. A while, <laughs> to be honest, I, I, I've lost track of of how long. And uh, when asked, I, I always prefer to do um, the one A or two A because the, the smaller town. I, I just love the whole story of the smaller towns of literally the entire town coming up to Indianapolis or coming down to Indianapolis to support their team. And you know, you know, just the enthusiasm, the passion love for those young ladies and young men when they do it it's it, it's gratifying to as a small town guy i just love watching those stories unfold every year coach that's what it's made of you know and you know that well i mean i'm i'm i grew up in a small town too and and spent my career in a in a in more of an urban setting in evansville but you know the stories that come along with this week you know the, you know the Bedford girls uh, as an example. They've been together as a team since basically the third grade. I think I read somewhere that the community endears them, and then they support them, and they had an incredible crowd. Uh, you know, and and those stories are throughout the tournament. You know, of, of kids that have done well uh, in their local communities, and and the community shows up, supports them, and then they. They don't all get a play in Indianapolis, but everyone that does has got a great following and, and good community tradition. And uh, as we said before, the, there's nothing more important or special than that short time mm-hmm. that you're in high school. You get to put the uniform on of your high school's name on it. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal weekend and, and event. He's the commissioner of the IHSA. It's Paul Nightingale. Not only that, Paul, two national records in swimming. Man, oh man, we you know we talk about basketball in Indiana. We're a swimming state <laughs> in many respects. That's just an incredible performance. It is, coach, and you know that that's on top of I think two national records that were set in the girls' meet uh, two weeks before, and I think we had a brother and sister in the same event that both set national records this past week, which is, I'm sure that family has a lot to celebrate now, but again, it's, we have kids, uh, and we'll go back to Lily King, and we've talked about Lily and others that that right, right. consistently perform at a world-class level in the sport of swimming, and I'm sure there'll be several kids that competed uh, in the Boys and Girls State Swim Meet that'll be uh, on that Olympic podium someday for the United States. He's the commissioner of the IHSA. It's Paul Nightingale. Commissioner, thanks for all you do. Congratulations to you and everybody associated with the association. It's been a fantastic month. It'll continue to be that way and have fun this weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. Absolutely, Coach, and thank you for doing what you do for the student-athletes in our state. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Nidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, 
Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Yeah. Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. Place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support three, West Washington two, Senator Football and wish them a great season. All right, back here live, sectional number 61. Second round action here on Tuesday night of this uh, first round of sectional games as Rock Creek leads Christian Academy 20 to 17 here at the half as we get ready for the third quarter. Rock Creek led in scoring by uh, Dipper. He had eight points in that uh, in that first half, a couple different guys with six for the uh, Christian Academy Warriors. Roy had six, Renfro with six, and uh, Cook with five uh, for Christian Academy. So more of a lo low scoring affair than what I thought we would see here out of these two teams. But I'm sure we'll see uh, the action heat up here in this second half. Oh yeah, for sure. So we're ready to go with the third quarter. Rock Creek will get the ball to start the third quarter. They had some guys in foul trouble, but they're all back on the floor now. Biko uh, inbound, he'll get it in uh, to Taylor. Taylor off to Wallace, down the corner. Biko drives baseline, gets cut off, goes up and scores 
So he goes up right away. He had seven. That's his ninth point of the game. So 22 to 17, Rock Creek. Back the other way for Christian Academy. They'll bring it across, Renfro with it. He'll get it off to Doss. Doss looking, gets it back out to Cook. Cook will dribble far side, looking for Renfro. Now he'll pull it down, shoot a deep three, can't get it to go. Board by Roy, he'll kick it off. Renfro, looked like he took one too many steps, but no call there. As he'll back it back out and start over. He'll drive now, pulls up, runner in the lane. Can't get it, Dipper with the rebound. So uh, Renfro with a couple looks at it there. Couldn't yeah, just get, couldn't get shot. anything to fall. And they've struggled shooting. That's been part of the problem. So back the other way, Wallace will hand it off to Taylor. Taylor now sets it for Rock Creek. He'll set it far side, Biko with it. Biko back out, he'll come to Wallace. Now to Taylor. Taylor far side, Biko. He'll pull it down, now drives in the lane. This is off to Dipper, he'll go in strong and he gets fouled. As Roy got him on the hand, that'll be his third his foul. Third, that's going to hurt the yeah. Christian Academy Warriors because they're going to have to bring in somebody off the bench with three fouls on Roy. I tell you, Roy's done a great job, too. Uh, he's he's done a great job against Treat and Dipper down low. and He's got uh, a bunch of rebounds. I don't know how many he's got, but he's got a bunch of them. Dipper at the line. That's so good. Couple free throws. First one rims out, no good, but he'll get another one. Second free throw coming here for. They roll the dice, they leave Roy in. I figured they'd take him out. Yeah, I did too. They may have to. Second one, no good. He missed them both. Rebound by Roy. He'll hand it off to uh, Doss. Doss will bring it up quickly for Christian Academy. He'll cross the timeline. Taylor out on him. Now they'll kick it over to Renfro. He'll drive, now step back three, off the mark, rebound, battle for him, pulled down by Carter. Carter in the lane with it, gets cut off, now dishes it back out to Cook. Cook gets it off to Doss. Now they'll do that to four corners deal where they just uh, try yeah. to isolate Cook a little bit. Biko on him. If I was Rock Creek, I'd just be content. Let him stand there, you got the lead. Now Cook will go on the attack. He'll hand it off to Carter, back to Cook in the corner. Cook will drive, spins on Biko, and almost tied up, but a foul going to be called there. They're going to get Taylor for the reach in, his first. Team's first here. Well, and they're, they're going to play four on four. They're going to guard Renfro in the yep. corner, and if he's not moving, they're just going to stay there. Yeah, why not? you got a five-point lead here. Lost to inbound for the Warriors as he stands in front of his cheering section. Big crowd here for Christian yeah. Academy. He'll get it in, it'll come into Cook. Cook off to Doss. Back over to Renfro, back out high, it'll come to Roy. Roy with it, gets it off to Cook. Cook, now back here on the uh, near wing to Doss. Doss back out to Cook. Cook around the screen, now kicks it back over. Doss back to Cook. Cook drives, goes to Renfro, baseline. He'll step back, shot, can't get it to go. Roy almost got another rebound. And Dipper able to rip it away from him. He'll get it off to Wallace. Wallace up quickly, Biko with it. Biko looking, cross court, gets it into Dipper, back to Biko. Now he'll hand it back out. It'll come to Wallace, he'll go far side to Taylor. Taylor. Pulls it down. Now goes in the corner. Biko will shoot a 16-footer. Can't get it. And rebound pulled down by Renfro. He'll get it off to Doss. Doss up quickly with it. Now backs it out. Gets it off to Renfro. Renfro off to Cook. Cook dribbles in. Free throw line. Tipped away from him. He got it back. Now hands it off to Carter. Carter back over to uh, Cook. Cook back to Carter now. Carter looking down there, baseline, can't find anybody. Tries to go in, he gets it in, free throw line to Roy. Roy off to Cook, will come around the screen. Picked up there by Dipper. Christian Cammy just doesn't have any answer when Renfro doesn't, isn't able to get the ball. Yeah. 
They'll go down baseline. Renfro, he'll dish it out. Three-pointer up there by Roy. In and out, no good. And the rebound pulled down by Merrill Dipper. Dipper gets it off. It'll come to Taylor. Taylor slowing it down. 3.55 to go here in the third quarter. Christian Academy hadn't scored here in this third quarter. Now they turn it over. Does Rock Creek. Up quickly, Renfro drives the lane, throws up a runner, and got it to go. 22-19, and Renfro went into the uh, bleachers over there pretty hard. That's a that's a big yeah. uh, question mark there for the Warriors if they lose Renfro. Yeah, they don't want to lose him at all. He's going to have to come out. So now they'll substitute. Gillespie going to come back in. As he'll come in for Renfro. Christian Academy faithful on the refs here. Yeah. They thought there should have been a foul there. 22 to 19. Rock Creek with the uh, three point lead here. They'll inbound. It'll come in. Taylor will bring it up across the timeline. 2 3 zone now by the Warriors. They'll get it off to Beko. Will Rock Creek. Beko will back it out, hand it off to Brown. He'll go back to Taylor. Taylor off to Brown, far side, now in the corner. It goes Biko, reverse layup, can't get it to go. Roy with another board as he pulls it down, gets it off to Gillespie. He'll hand it off to Doss, back to Gillespie. Gillespie with it. Treat out on him. Gillespie drives in the lane, dishes in the corner to Roy. Roy back out to the Gillespie. Gillespie with Treat on him. Rock Creek staying in this man-to-man. -man. Yeah. I don't know that you want Treat no. guarding somebody 30 feet from the bucket. Yeah, that's the thing. And Gillespie's just come in off the bench. So right. You don't look for him to shoot a whole lot. Cook will take it on the drive. Tipped away from him. Ball on the floor. Battle for it. Roy gets it to Gillespie. He'll drive and score. So Gillespie with his first bucket. And a one-point game here. 22-21. Taylor off the brown, now in the corner. Biko, he'll shoot the three off the mark. Battle for the board, Roy pulls it down. He'll get it off to Gillespie. Gillespie up quick with it. He'll back it out, goes far side to Cook. Cook will handle it out front. Now back over here to Gillespie. 158 to go here in the quarter. Not much scoring in this third quarter. Cook on the drive, he gets cut off, hands it back, Doss will drive it, throws it up, and he gets fouled. Two shots. I believe they're gonna get treat. Oh, they're gonna get uh, Dipper for that oh, one. Oh, did they get Dipper? Yep, gonna be his third. Yeah, his third. The team's second foul here, but that'll put Doss at the line. He hadn't scored tonight. He'll get a couple free throws. First one's up, and he rims it in. Tied at 22. As Doss will get another free throw here. Brings it to a tie game here. Yep. He could uh, take the lead here. And it rims out. So status at 22 all. As Dipper with the board, he'll hand it off to Wallace. Wallace will bring it up with 142. Christian Academy's only, or Rock Creek's only scored two points in this quarter. Yeah. Surprised they haven't went more down low with it. Biko will drive in the free throw line, kicks it out. Brown. Brown will back up now. Well, they hands it stole off. a lot of time with yeah. Roy down low. Now they go low to Dipper. He'll drive, puts it up, and got it. Gives him 10. He's now in double digits. Yep, 24-22. Renfro back the other way. He'll drive it into the free throw line. Now backs it out. Brown on him. He steps back, deep three, and he got it. Twenty 
25-24. First lead for a while. I don't know that they've they led. They haven't led. That's this is their first, first lead. lead. So Brown with it. As he'll pull it down for Rock Creek. 43 seconds. He'll get it off to Wallace. Wallace looking baseline. Nothing there. Now he goes down low to Treat. He draws the crowd. Gets it to Dipper. And he scores it. They're going to say a foul on the floor, though. So that's going to be called against number 11, Cook. Foul on the floor, so only the second team foul, no free throws yet. Timeout going to be called by Christian Academy with 32 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Going to be a 30 second. We're going to hang out right here. Yep. So uh, the first timeout they've called. <clears throat> you can tell that the the. Momentum has changed. changed. Yep. You know, Rock Creek really rolling in the first half, and then Christian Academy has come storming back here in yep. the second, or actually just in the third quarter. 32.7 seconds left to go, and Christian Academy has pulled out to a one point lead. Yeah, only uh, four points in this quarter by Rock Creek, and uh, they only had two until late there when Dipper got that last bucket to go, but uh, Renfro's got uh, five in this quarter. Uh, so he, he's in double figures now at 11, but uh, Rock Creek the inbound with 32 seconds to go here. And down one here, 25-24. Wallace the inbound, he'll get it into Biko. Biko with it, looking, goes down low to Treat. He'll find Dipper, he'll go up, lost it, got it back, back up and in. He was able to score 26-25. Renfro up quickly. It's cut off there by Dipper. He's got three fouls. He's got to watch it. Gillespie with it now. He'll get it back out to Cook. Cook with 11 seconds to go here in the quarter. He'll go around the screen now. Drives it in the lane. Dishes Gillespie with the three. Can't get it. The rebound pulled down by Brown, and that's the end of the third quarter. So Rock Creek will go in through the quarter with a one-point lead as we head into the fourth quarter here on your home, four section of 61. Right, brothers. We're more than tractors. Stop in and take a look around. You'll be surprised. Right here on Highway 60 in Borden. I like the power deck. You lift it up, clean your deck out, then wash it out. And you know, I can change those blades in approximately five minutes. In our terrain, we have to have a mower that can back up quick, turn quick. Nothing's ever stopped that mower. I'm David Calhoun, Grass Clippings LLC. During the summer, I'm on this thing eight, 10 hours a day. I know the feel of it. Grasshopper means quality. They don't fall apart. I've looked at all of them in the industry. I don't think nothing can stand up to them. Back in store. All right, back here live West Washington High School in the first round action of sectional 61, the second game here tonight. Rock Creek with a one point advantage, 26-25, as we head into the fourth quarter. And I tell you, big story right now would be fouls. Yeah. You know, Dipper has a three, uh, Treat with two, Brown with two, and Vico with two, four, Rock Creek. Uh, Roy has three, four, he played that whole third quarter pretty much with three fouls right. uh, for a Christian Academy. So we'll start the fourth quarter. Christian Academy will have the ball coming out here of the quarter break. Rock Creek has had the lead as much as 12. And right now they have a one point lead where Christian Academy has only had a one point lead the whole game. Right. So. Renfro gets it to Doss down low to Roy. Dipper on him. He'll kick it back out. Step back Renfro with the three, and he got it. Renfro's heating up. That's yep. 14. 28-25, a three-point lead. Or 28-26. Yeah. Yeah, two-point lead for Christian Academy. Brown with it. Gets it to Treat. Treat, cross-court pass over to Biko. Biko will pull it down. Back to Treat. Free throw line. He looks. Pulls it down, finds a guy on the baseline, and Wallace has to throw it up. Tipped away from Dipper and a turnover there by Rock Creek. As they'll get it back over to Renfro for Christian Academy. He'll bring it up, draws the crowd, finds Doss cutting, and he got it to go and the foul. Yeah. 
You can hear the crowd in the background. That is Dipper's fourth Four. personal foul. And Doss able to score it. He'll go to the line. That's his first field goal tonight. Yeah. Doss only a 55% free throw shooter on the year. The 6'2 junior averages 5.3 a game. Will so they count the basket? Yes. Okay. Well, they haven't put it on the scoreboard yet. And he misses a free throw. So there it is, 30-26 now, four-point lead for Christian Academy. They go low to Dipper. He shoots it, can't get it. Ball tipped out. Biko chases it down. He gets trapped, now gets it off to Treat. Treat finds Taylor down low, and he scores. That's Wallace, actually, who scored it. Gives him four on the night. 28-30-28, Christian Academy by two. And a whistle called. They're going to call a foul. Brown, that's his, his third. third. Yep. Team's fourth foul. Carter will check back in for Christian Academy. They'll have the basketball. Renfro to inbound on the far side. He'll get it in the cook back to Renfro. He'll pull it down. Brown on him. He drives, gets cut off. Now he throws it away and it's steal by Wallace. Wallace comes out there with it. Looks, finds uh, Brown with it on the far side. He'll cross court to Biko, now back out. It comes to Wallace. Down two here, Rock Creek. 30 to 28, Christian Academy. Brown dribbles it out, gets it off to Biko. Biko with it, goes far side. It's a wide open three by Wallace and he buried it. They regain the lead, 31 to 30, back and forth. <laughs> That's like the first uh, yeah. game. It's it's up and down, up and down. Gillespie, or he'll kick it. Now he'll give it back to Renfro. He gets trapped in the corner, gets it to Carter. Carter back to Cook. Cook with it. Looking, gets, picks up his dribble. Now gets it off to Roy. Roy with it. Looking, this is off to Doss. Doss will drive, goes in strong, throws up a runner, can't get it to go, and treat with the board. As he pulls it down, he'll get it off to Wallace. Wallace will bring it across the timeline. 31 to 30, Rock Creek ahead by one here, 514 to go into the contest. He'll throw it far side to Brown. Brown will hand it off to Biko out high. Biko will back it up. Trying to take some air out of the ball, but you know, you're five minutes to go. I don't know right. that you want to do that yeah. yet. Wallace with it. He'll kick it off to Brown. Brown looking. Back out to Wallace. Off to Brown now. He lost it. Timeout call. Timeout called by uh, Rock Creek here. 4.35 to go. Full timeout. We're going to step aside, take a commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. Two, one. All right, back here live, West Washington High School. Game number two here, sectional 61. Rock Creek Academy up 31 to 30 over Christian Academy. Rock Creek with the basketball. Got a timeout called there. Uh, much to the chagrin of the Christian Academy yeah. faithful. 
here in front of us, but uh, Rock Creek uh, getting a timeout here with 435. So they'll re retain possession of the basketball as Wallace will inbound. He'll get it into Taylor. Taylor back to Wallace here. Trap coming on him. They'll go in the corner to Biko. Biko cross court out to Taylor. Into Treat. He'll throw it low to Dipper. Dipper spins, goes in strong, and he got it and one. As he's going to get fouled as he goes to the deck. So Dipper with his first bucket of this fourth quarter. Matthew Carter picked up his second foul, and Dipper will go to the line. Dipper's got 14 tonight. Yep, he's been to the free throw line twice and missed both of them, so he'll go back to the line. Let's go we'll check in. And Dipper will step up there to try to complete the three point play. One shot here. Up and he got it. 34 to 30 here. Four point lead by Rock Creek, 420 to go. Christian Academy back across the timeline to Doss. Doss with it. He'll find Cook with it. Cook looking, gets it off to Renfro. He pulls it down, kicks it back out. Goes off to Lucy back in the game. As he checked in there. Renfro. It's cut off, kicks it off to Gillespie. Gillespie, a treat on him, dribbles baseline, and Dipper are able to Looks kick like it that out. One out. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Roy was going to check in, but I think he's bleeding a little well, bit up there. It, I don't know that he's bleeding. I think it's more of a rash. Oh, really? Yeah. So they'll kick it in bounds. It'll come in to Cook. Cook with it. Hands it off to Renfro. Renfro with Taylor on him. Mismatch there. He'll pick up Dipper. Now they go off to Gillespie in the corner for three. Airballed it. Rebound pulled down by Wallace. So Wallace will bring it up. Trap coming here at half court. He gets it off. It'll go to Taylor. Now over to Biko. Biko with it. Cross court over to Taylor. Taylor inside the treat. Treat spins, shoots it in the lane, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by Cook. Had a good look, but couldn't get it to go. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't get that one to fall through. Renfro will drive it, goes all the way in. It's cut off there and dishes out. Biko almost steals it. Augson will pull it down, shoot a deep three off the mark and Dipper with the board. So he'll hand it back over to Waltz. 34-30, 257 to go. And Wallace will walk it up, gets across to Taylor, and he tries it now, deflection, so a turnover there. Renfro drives it, reverse layup, can't get it. Almost got it tipped in, Treat with the board. Treat up quickly with it. Pulls it down, now he throws it away. Gets it off to Cook, Cook with the steal, now they tick it. 40 with the shot, and he hit it. That's close, he hit the deep three-pointer. And it's 34-33 with 2.29 to go. Who was that last shot? Who hit that? Uh, Losey, number 40, with the three-pointer deep in the corner as he drills it. So a one-point game. Yeah, man, back and forth, back, back and, forth. and forth. We've had two good games here. I mean, the oh first my, one they comes down tremendous. You know, to the last bucket. This one's back and forth the whole time. It's sectional basketball, folks. That's what you look for. Yeah here in uh, this time of the year, and uh, definitely been an exciting contest so far. I was gonna check on that game going on up the road. I haven't had an update in a while. Yeah, it wasn't good last time you it checked it. I hope it's I'm, better now. Yeah, uh, me too. As I was down 12 when I looked the last time, or down 20 the last time I looked. <laughs> I can't get my phone to work in there. I would say whoever wins this game is probably the favorite to come out of the bottom side of yeah, the bracket. Yeah, very well could you know, be. Borden and South Central are going to battle it out on the right. top side. 
So, a one-point lead here by Rock Creek. As they lead 34-33. No inbound here. Biko will get it into Wallace with 2.27 to go in the contest. They'll get it off to Biko. Biko far side. They've turned it over the last two trips. Yeah. Has Rock Creek. Biko with it. Renfro on him. He'll dribble. Goes in the corner and he lost it. Fifth turnover there in this quarter. Or third in this quarter. Yeah, fifth and a uh, half. Fifth and a half. So Christian Academy will get it back. Down one here with 2.12 to go. Renfro to inbound in the corner. He'll throw it in and it'll come in to Dawes. Dawes to bring it up for Christian Academy. He'll cross the timeline. Gets it off to Renfro. He goes on Brown, drives, goes in strong. Got it, and a foul. Nice bucket there by Renfro. 35-34, and he'll shoot a free throw. That's Caleb Brown's fourth foul. So him and Dipper both have four. They're 2-0-1 to go in the contest. And a chance to go up two here if Renfro can get this free throw to go. Renfro, an 82% free throw shooter on the year. And you jinxed him. He missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Just not tonight. 82 not tonight. on the year, not yep. tonight. 35 34 as he misses a free throw. So <laughs> back the other way now. Brown with it. Goes baseline. Biko gets it into treat. He missed it. Battle for the board. Biko pulls it down, back up, and he got it. Thirty-six, thirty-five. Back down quickly. Cook with it. He'll back it out. Now it goes far side to Logston. In the corner to Roy. Roy looking, trying to get it into Gillespie. He does, and he spins. A charge foul call. Yeah, and that was the right call. Renfro just turned, and uh, Wallace had possession there. Went to the deck. So thirty-six, thirty-five. Rock Creek. Still only Renfro's first foul, so. Rock Creek gets it back. With a one point lead here, 36-35. Dipper will check back in. And Wallace to bring it up. Gets it across to Biko. Biko drives far side. 108. He'll kick it far side to Wallace. Wallace over to Biko. Biko in the corner to Taylor. Inside to Treat. Treat with it. Oop, tipped out to Biko. 51 seconds. Biko. On the attack, finds Treat, and it's tipped away from him. Off of Roy, out of bounds to Rock Creek. Timeout by Coach Brown for Rock Creek with a one-point lead and 45 seconds to go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Another Third, exciting one here. Just a 30-second timeout. Like you said, one-point lead. You know, you've got you to gotta get something figured out in order to get the ball and be able to go to the bucket and score. You know yeah. it's got to go through Renfro. Renfro's going to be the, the go-to on the Christian Academy side. Oh, yeah. Um, the question is, can he get the ball and go full court with it, or is he going to slow it down and try to run some, some half-court offense to get the bucket? Well, and, you know, Christian Academy only with four fouls, so they got some fouls to give here. Yeah. If you're Rock Creek, much like the position West Washington was in in that first game, you know, you got to take care of the basketball if you're Rock Creek. You got a one point lead here. You've got to control the basketball. Rock Creek going to take the ball out of bounds underneath their own bucket. Yep, ball is to inbound for the Lions. So Wallace looking, gets it in, it'll come into Biko. He'll back it out and steal by Renfro. He'll drive and go in and get your bucket. 37-36, Christian Academy. Wallace spins in the lane, goes to Dipper. He'll spin and score. 
38, 37. Roy with it, gets it out, Doss. Now back to uh, Cook. Cook with 18 seconds. He'll drive, finds Roy in the lane, he lost it. And Dipper gets it back and Roy fouls him, whoa. That foul gonna be called against Roy. That's his fourth, team's fifth. Full timeout by yep, Rock, Rock Creek. Creek. We're gonna step aside, take a commercial break, and be back in just a moment. Link's Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. All right, back here live West Washington High School, 13.6 seconds left on the clock here. Rock Creek with a one-point lead, and they have the basketball, 38-37. Full-court pressure here by Christian Academy. And Rock Creek trying to hang on. They've led pretty much throughout as uh, they'll get the ball inbounds. It'll come into Taylor, and he gets fouled right away as Logston, or Losey fouls him with fouls to give. That's only the team's fifth, the first one on Losey. Still two more before they're going to go to the line. Yeah. So 11.8 seconds now. B code inbound for Christian Academy, or for Rock Creek. They've had trouble hanging on to the ball here, so they'll get it into Wallace. He'll dribble it across, and he gets fouled there by Cook. Cook got picked up his third foul. Now we're down to 8.9 left. Yeah. Dipper will check in. Now, team seven, team seven, so that'll be free throws. Brown will go in, out as Dipper comes in. Wallace at the line. He's not been up there tonight, so a timeout called by Christian Academy. 8.9 on the clock. So a one point game here and Wallace at the line. So yeah, Christian Academy a chance. Christian Academy taking that timeout, trying to ice yeah. you know, him going to the line. Not a not a wonderful free throw shooter on the year by any means, but definitely, you know, can step up and knock knock him down. Right. Two big free throws here. Well, a one and one. Yeah. He's got to get the first one and you know, Christian Academy with plenty of time, especially when you got Renfro who can go to the basket real quick. And I'm sure that's what uh, they're setting up down there, Coach uh, Casey, yeah. trying to get something set up for them for this. Uh, if he if he does, even if he hits both, it's still just a one possession game. They would have to have a three uh, to tie it if he can get both three throws. But uh, we'll see if Wallace is able to knock him down. What'd you, you say know, he was I, shooting for the year? Uh, 60 something. 62. 62 percent. So he'll have a one and one as he'll step to the line, Will Wallace. Everybody trying to get set on the one and one here. Yep, Wallace will step up there. First free throw coming here. up and he got it. Gives 39, eight 37. On the He'll get another one. And this changes everything yeah. if he can hit it because you got to get it three. Second one's up and it's good too. Nothing but net. 40, 37. They'll inbound to Cook. Cook, they need to foul him and they do. Yeah, they, they, they need to foul. 
That's only the 16 yeah. foul. 4.9 to go. That's one of the first foul on Wallace. I'm not so sure you don't foul and put him at the line. Yeah. Because they can't win the game if you foul. Right. So Losey two inbound over on the far side. He'll get it in. It'll come into Doss. He'll get it off. Cook will shoot the three off the mark. And out of bounds, and that's it. And that's the ball game. Rock Creek has beat Christian Academy here tonight. A uh, final score of 40 to 37. So they knock off the Christian Academy Lions. And, uh, you know, they did what they had to do. They had a, as much as a 12-point lead in this game and uh, come back and got those two free throws from Wallace, made it a one-possession game. They needed a three. They got a good look at it. Cook had yeah, a good look. They just, just couldn't, couldn't knock it down. Couldn't knock it down. And uh, that's the end of the game. So... Rock Creek will advance to take on Lanesville in game number two on Friday. Our first game will feature South Central and Borden. So uh, two more good ones there coming up. We'll take a break, add things up from this game, and come back with our post-game report here on your home for section number 61. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Back in four, three, two. All right, back here live as our second game ends here. Rock Creek pulls off the upset as they beat Christian Academy 40 to 37. The rundown are scoring for Christian Academy. Uh, Roy had uh, one field goal. He was uh, four of six from the line, six points in the game. Uh, Renfro had uh, four two-point field goals, three uh, three-pointers, one of two from the free throw line. As he finished the game uh, here tonight uh, with uh, 15 points to lead uh, Christian Academy. Um, Carter had uh, two free throws, missed them both. He didn't score in the game. Cook had one uh, three-point field goal, uh, two of two at the line for five, one field goal for Gillespie for two, one field goal and two free throws for um, Doss in the game, he finished with four, and uh, Losey had the one three-pointer to give them uh, 37 on the night as he got three points in the game in a losing effort. For uh, the winning Rock Creek Lions, they were led in scoring by Dipper. He had eight field goals, one of three from the line, 17 big points for Mario Dipper uh, to lead all scores tonight. Biko had uh, five field goals, one of two from the line, 11 points. Uh, Wallace had uh, two two-point field goals, one three-pointer. He was two of two from the free throw line, nine points in the game. 
and uh, only four players scoring for Rock Creek. Treat had one 